morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Frank Murray, managing partner of the Linkage Partnership. And as the name suggests, it's all about supply chain. It's all about linking up at the strategic uh, level. And it's also about linking up at the operation level. Uh, I'm a recovering ICT engineer. So for my sins, I can't help but think about things with technology. I've been doing that since I was a kid, stealing Lego from my brothers taking their train sets, taking them apart, putting them back together again. So unfortunately, I'm one of those types of characters, usually referred to as the IT crowd, but there you go. Um, my topic today is IoT, driving sustainable logistics and supply chain through knowledge frameworks. And I suppose knowledge frameworks could be defined as generic ICT. And as we've now changed labels over the years, integration of ICT projects now means Internet of Things, because of the paradigm shift, the technologies, the combination years ago of information communications technologies combining. And now all of a sudden with the web, we have things like uh, electronic integration, sensor technology, cloud services, backdoor support, that type of activity. So who are the uh, Linkage Partnership? Well, we're the consulting arm of a company called Purecom Limited. Purecom Limited was founded in 1993. It's the first spin-out company from the University of Limerick. And it spent most of its time in the area of re reverse engineering or reverse logistics. Uh, and particularly around uh, software and software engineering. Um, we provide strategic and operational models for business to adopt knowledge supply chain strategies for sustained performance using advanced technologies with strategic modeling and IoT cloud data analytics strategies to solve advanced supply chain uh, problems. So it's joined up thinking, joined up processes and systems that deliver. Uh, we're also business catalysts, uh, disruptors, interlocutors, knowledge and it's intellectual property brokers, program and project managers. What I hope to convince you in this talk this morning is that adopting a knowledge framework strategy can provide the, for sustained and orderly management of an advanced supply chain from design to distribution for products and for services. And when I talk about the supply chain, I'm talking about every aspect of the supply chain. I'm talking from the time of the creation process through to design all the way into design for manufacturing and all the way from manufacturing out through distribution and supply chain logistics. And I'm looking through all of the different aspects of a business that, that you would look at in terms of what's the infrastructure in place? Is it patchwork? Has, have systems grown and developed in small niche and in islands? And are they relevant today? Are they integratable today? Is the knowledge that's contained in them still relevant? What meaning has the data in those systems? Are there nuggets in the organization where you can bring meaning to that information to make a huge difference? And because I'm under NDA with certain clients, I can only refer in general to some of the stuff we're looking at in terms of some of the strategies we're developing for companies around the information that they actually have available to them, but they're not valuing and they're not using, particularly across the entire supply chain. So our process as the Linkage Partnership starts effectively with what we call an enterprise-wide review. And an enterprise-wide review is gathering the information, the processes, the information, and the data across the supply chain to agree uh, a framework strategy and then an architecture. It's not just IT. It's everything to do with all aspects of your business. And I want to draw your attention to um, a particular slide which I have definitely used for most of my career uh, in terms of uh, how to go about solving problems, particularly in supply chain, advanced manufacturing. Any CEO work he solved, when he gets up in the morning, is worried about three things. Time to market, the cost and the quality. They're the three fundamental drivers of running a successful organization. And what we've been doing over the years is, if you read most of the generic uh, um, academic literature, you'll find 
sometimes that people have uh, stuck their pin in process technology and people and then all of the materials that one will read whether you're doing an MBA or, or anything in this field particularly in the area of uh, advanced manufacturing um, uh, I, we feel that it's a little bit limited because you have to introduce metrics and you have to introduce infrastructure for infrastructure means ICT and it also is necessary to close the gap between the management team and their understanding of IT and their understanding of IS. IS is information services and IT is the plumbing, the actual plumbing that's put in place. And a lot of companies and in particular a lot of CEOs we find haven't come up through the IT world, they come up through the business world. So it takes them some time to really understand the relationship between the ICT infrastructure and the IS services, particularly when it comes to holistic supply chain modeling. As I said, the Linkage Partnership is a spin-out from a company called Peercom Limited, and the, uh, the um, company uh, focuses on supply chain ICT integration. Integration is going to be the next major uh, um, uh, challenge for companies. We hear about the Internet of Things, we hear about the um, um, intelligence of things as we progress towards robotics. But more importantly, we're going to have to develop the skills and the understanding holistically of integration and integration strategies, particularly as related to those islands of communications I mentioned and the infrastructure that companies have put in place over the years. Peercom started its life, as I said, in 1993, and it uh, is celebrating 24 years in advanced manufacturing and supply chain integration. The company won a, a Washington Smithsonian Medal for its innova for innovation services, and it is focused on the Internet of Things, the intelligence of things uh, in the knowledge supply chain through data analytics and designing and building software that automate manufacturing processes. We're serving companies like GCAS, Aviation Leasing, which was the old uh, GPA company. Uh, we're servicing the industrial engineering works of uh, companies like Costal, Highlight Tools, uh, BSB, Lathe Risk and Networks. And we're looking at um, uh, mechatronics and automotive sectors, particularly with companies like Costal and Analog Devices. Our key focus is the collaboration, uh, innovation and collaboration in Internet of Things uh, in advanced manufacturing R&D and strategic consulting. That's a list of some of our traditional and relevant clients. By the way, as a little side cell or a sidebar, I'm also chairman of the Swiss Irish Business Association, which again, if anyone in the audience is interested in connecting up with the fifth largest investor in Ireland, which sometimes uh, is a little bit under the bonnet, but a lot of the bigger companies, the Novartis, the Nestle's and that, will be very interested to hear from you. So as I said, we're looking at um, the holistic uh, um, uh, solving of capturing data on the supply chain across this particular model. Um, over the last number of years, we've been involved in connecting up multinationals SMEs and research centers to form clusters of collaboration around specific projects, particularly as they relate to the supply chain. So we pick specific parts of the supply chain, targeted those, and then put teams together from a group of multinationals and SMEs where we feel they can form the capability. So as I said, the core components of putting together a proper framework strategy around your supply chain starts with uh, a knowledge framework enterprise review and it results in the development of a template uh, of a framework portal. So what we've developed uh, in the linkage partnership over the years is if you were building a house today, you, you, everyone is aware of a timber frame structure where the engineering is already pre-built into the templates of the framework of the house. The doors open the right way, the windows open the right way, 
and the wood structures can be templated um, as, a, as a structure, a scaffolding to put the, uh, the model in place. So what we did was we looked at a lot of supply chain modeling and we came up with a number of structures and entity diagrams that related the people, the processes, the technology, the infrastructure and the metrics that I referred to earlier. And then we were able to develop effectively a holistic architecture around the ICT side and we have frameworked the four templates of this. So anyone running an organization from design, uh, uh, design into manufacturing will have this as a template to safeguard itself and ensure that as it progresses through design into manufacturing and down into logistics supply chain, that we can gather the data in these particular modules that we've set up as a generic uh, uh, skeleton. We've done a lot of work around supply chain for some companies. There's no badges mentioned here, but this shows what we've been doing with a company who asked us to look at their supply chain from splitting up their locations across Europe into bins and for the pick, pack and ship to actually come up from their standard JD Edward system and to create the web infrastructure that would allow them to identify what was that central control and then how we would link that into the different locations out to the sub suppliers. And again, this is more of a pictorial of all of the different issues that are involved in such a project from uh, warehousing, uh, purchase orders, uh, verifying, receiving, shipping, um, and uh, other aspects of supply chain. In general, just to give a very simplistic idea of end-to-end -end supply chain ICT management, right? Today, the vehicles for communications are what we're all aware of. There's mobile phones, there's digital television. No matter what tool you're using, your laptops, your mobiles, everyone is switched on all the time, anywhere, and has, and has a control tower. Most data resides in systems, legacy systems in many respect, at the back end of organizations. And what we've been able to do is create an interface uh, um, layer, both web and existing uh, second tier systems that would manage your, your uh, front end through the cloud to actually bring together that front end communications process into your back end systems where a lot of the data can reside. So if I look in as an example of some of the work we did in, in uh, one of our companies, um, we were looking at a chip uh, design process and we were looking at the chip to manufacturing uh, uh, supply chain. And we pulled together a project team, we looked at it from the point of view that everything in an advanced uh, uh, engineering project, particularly when it relates to shipping uh, chip technology out to customers, that it's the entire supply chain. The supply chain is all of, all of the straight line thinking you would think about from end user to silicon process and shipping this out to your end customers. But it, it means as well gathering the data around all the different aspects of this particular model. And again, just tip, typically of how we would operate we will go through the different sequence steps in the design process through pillars. We will identify those pillars then to, to basically identify where are the different areas of data collection required uh, in, in managing a, a process. And applying supply chain theory, whether it's in the, the design part of the organization, manufacturing or logistics. So how we, we work with clients is we find a problem, we identify the strategic objectives tied to, uh, uh, tied to that problem, and we identify any strategic partners or challenges. We will also adopt some uh, academics and multinationals to work with us where we believe there's uh, information. The rest of my presentation consists of a number of projects we've done where we've looked at the entire infrastructure of companies from the point of view of how they process their operations and how they process their um, uh, their activities. 
Uh, this is a client where we went in and we found uh, a significant, we did our enterprise wide review and we identified a whole host of areas that were problematic. Aging technology, very poor data integrity, no marketing department functionality integrated, poor remote access, no disaster recovery, badly structured and designed databases, limited management information, weak data security, poor backup processes, and a, a lack of competency in the management team to understand the true nature of the investment. Okay, for two minutes. This is another one we did for Boeing and for, for GCAS. So, in summary, adopting a knowledge framework strategy can provide for sustained orderly management of uh, advanced supply chain from design to distribution. It begins with a review. It begins with looking at your processes, your information and your data across the supply chain to agree that framework strategy and architecture. And it's not just IT. Thank you very much. Thank you.